the first wine was only made in 1941. And uh, it was made by a guy called C.T. De Waal. The rugby also played a great role in the history of Pinotage because uh, there was three guys. Uh, Kanonkop was Paul Sauer, he, was, he played front rank for Western Province. Pierre Markel, he was a Springbok winger also. And then C.T. De Waal played centre and he was at Elsenburg, the, the lecturer and he made the first wine. But it seems that after a rugby match, these guys didn't drink beer. They had a glass of wine and they were so impressed with Pinotage that they planted it on their farms. And those three farms, you know, Eiterweik, the Waals, top of the hill, Kanonkop and Belvio has got the oldest Pinotage vines in South Africa. And then Nelson Mandela came in, the world opened up for us again. And people started tasting old Pinotages. When you look at wine in the world, you know, it's, you have all this history through the world and you look how, how so old some varieties are, you know, thousands of years. And uh, Pinotage is the only unique South African variety that we have. I think for that specific reason, we need to embrace it. Pinotage is very well suited for South African style food. It goes really well with the braai. It goes really well with game dishes, you know, springbok and kudu and oryx, that type of thing. And even when you chill Pinotage down, it goes well with oysters. We make Pinotage brandy, we've got Pinotage hamburgers, we've got Pinotage ice cream, we've got uh, Pinotage chocolate. We're uh, thinking about a Pinotage gin at this stage. And there's such a lot of things you can do with Pinotage. We make a Pinotage salami, for instance. So we call ourselves the home of Pinotage. So when you come there, you can really experience Pinotage in different forms. Pinotage in, in South Africa is really picking up. I think the most, uh, some of the most plantings of, of, of vines that are taking place now are Pinotage plants. And also the growth that we are seeing in Pinotage sales have increased tremendously, not only South Africa, but also internationally. I think the South African market are realizing the quality that's produced from Pinotage in South Africa today. Um, and I think people are still looking for something unique. Yeah, and we believe the quality of Pinotage from South Africa is, is, is really uh, comparable with the best wines in the world. So if you're interested in quality wine, you need, you need to have a Pinotage in your cellar. Otherwise, you, you've been missing out.